Welcome everyone to another episode of Le Plata. So as we can see guys, we are making a ton of money, like a ton of money. Well, not anymore a ton of money. We're making a good amount of money, but not a ton. I have no clue where this amount of money just keeps coming from, but I'm just going to keep decreasing my, uh... Ah, oh, trouble is brewing. Okay. So this is a new international crisis, everyone. Well, we... Do we want to join in? It seems like people are actually... Oh, wow. No, 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 no. I didn't want you guys getting that low. Maybe about 30... No! Stop it! No, no middle class. You always don't get that poor. I'm not letting you guys get that rich. 36, 35. There we go. 35 taxes for everyone around my country. There we go. Okay. Um, right now the crisis is what? Uh, Austria versus Germany for the, uh, Polish? For the Congress, Congressional Polish people. Germany, I don't know why you'd want that because it seems like that'd be a terrible idea for you too since you also have cores of Poland in you. But whatever, we will... Do we want to join in? Yeah, we... You know, I'll see how the sides turn out, because since I'm not a part of that region, I don't have to necessarily, you know, you know, uh, you know, cast my vote in whatever support. So I can just sit here and just relax while everyone else is like, oh, what, what's going to happen to the world? Um, but let's see. You guys are leaning strongly towards, um, Russia. You guys are leaning strongly towards Russia. Um, it had to be just Germany versus Russia, France, and, oh wow, this would be a terrible day for the, for the amount of time this is going to take, this would be a very terrible thing, but you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to totally back the Germans. Let's do this. Yeah. You know, if you guys want to join in and fight against me, you guys can, but I'm going to beat you. I'm going to totally beat you. Because I am Le Plata, and we are awesome. So, ha. Huh. Let's see. Oh my goodness, I actually... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that just, like, turned everyone against me. Just, like, instantly. Like, yep. The They just declared, they just declared their support. We kind of don't like them anymore. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, these guys don't really like me. Like, most of Europe, if I was to look at the happiness or the relationship meter... Most people, let's see, for La Plata, most people in Europe do not like me. Romania kind of likes me, which is good. Yeah, we're still trying to change that, by the way. But at least Romania kind of tolerates me now. But most people in Europe don't like me. America loves me, and so does Mexico, and so does Canada. See, these are my bros up here. Amer the American group is my bros. Everyone else in the world can just go eat my American... Well, yeah. So, anyways... Let's see how this crisis turns out. I think I made a terrible mistake, but I don't really care. At least with my choosing what side I'm going to be on, it definitely turned the sides. And I don't believe that this is going to be an easy assignment anymore. Because I think these guys are going to be like, oh shoot, what should we do now? But, um, if this turns into a great war, that would be great for us. Because then what I could do is, um, see I don't really have to worry about too many people declaring war on me and fighting me. Because I'm a pretty powerful nation. Ooh, tanks. Okay. So let's see. How many um actual engineers do we have in this company? Um, because we can start replacing them right now. Because if you guys don't know, engineers actually are replaced by tanks. It's one of the weirdest things I ever learned in this game, but yes, they aren't replaced by cannons. Engineers are actually replaced by tanks. So let's see. You guys are being killed off, so you guys are basically a full developed army, so I'm gonna move you guys. Actually you need one other soldier. To complete this army. Um, but before I do that. I'm going to move you guys over here. Because I don't want you guys to be com be completed. And let's see. I need you guys to complete in Africa. One more soldier. Or one more one more uh, Hussier unit. Over here in my mainland. Where we are building up massive ships of epic proportion. Um, do we have my tanks? Yes my tanks. Oh I love thee. I love thee my tanks. Okay. Trouble president. Okay. Um, let's see, all you guys are kind of closed off economies except Peru. Um, you wouldn't survive very long, Peru, your economy is just bad all around. Okay, let's see though, trouble is brewing. Ooh, Pomerania, ooh. Ah, uh, okay. This actually is becoming a very close call, so what we need to do is kind of increase our relationships with these guys so they don't hate us as much. 
Because right now this is basically a very close battle. And we're going to need to make it so that these guys do not choose the other side. We need to make sure that they choose just us or they stay out of it. Those are the two best options. Because right now Germany, Germany could fight both. Germany is very powerful right now. They could fight both France and, you know, the Soviet Union. But I feel like it'd be too many fronts if they have to deal with Scandinavia too. So, oh man, yeah, they're gonna make me. They're gonna make me have to go send in troops to actually go deal with them. Okay, um, let's see. Engineer wise, I think this unit was actually gonna eventually get to, but I didn't quite get around to it. Let's see. So you guys destroy yourselves. Yeah, I don't need you guys. Let's see. So seven, two, five. Five, seven, oh, we have seven of these. Okay, does anyone need any cannons right now? Let's see, you guys don't, well, we're mine some cannons. <laughs> uh, these guys are basically good. These guys need a horseman unit, but they're basically good too, so. Yeah, let's go send some cannons over there. Uh, one, two, go send two cannons this way. And with that, that should balance everything out to a T. Yeah, and this unit's basically good, so go send him on the boats. We're going to go send him to our lands over here in Yugoslavia. And Yugoslavia, you guys are going to give us military access because we are your overlords and you'll listen to us because we are your overlords. And I'm going to try to go save your army. Try to go save your capital from being demolished by the other people, but I'm not sure if I could do that. I'm not sure if I could save you, but yeah. Um, and then with you guys, we're going to try to suck up to you as much as possible so you guys maybe choose us. Again, though, it wouldn't be too, too bad if we did that, but still, it's like, I still want to try to save Scandinavia. Yes, we shall attend. We always attend the Olympic Games. Yay! Ha! Take that! Okay. So, with this, this now basically cements this as a great war, which means it's going to be Soviet Union, Germany. This is going to be a great war, guys. Germany's gonna have to deal with three different fronts. Oh man, this is actually this is actually looking pretty scary for Germany right now. Germany's gonna have to deal with three different fronts and deal with three different powers in the world. Um I mean we might be able to help them just a little bit, but it's going to be very, very minimal help. Um Like basically all I'm gonna do is just um Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be basically more supportive. I must be honest with myself. Uh let's see. So we got our tanks and our Hussier unit here. I'm going to disband this guy, go send these guys over here to go complete this unit. And I have to start, eventually I have to start sending all these new tank units I keep building to the new world to go upgrade my other infantry. Also, you guys. Damn, I don't remember where... <laughs> oh wait, planes are the most defensive unit in the entire game, so if I want to get planes, they're probably going to replace the, um... Yeah, okay. Anyways, continuing on, people, we are in about to go to our first great war because we wanted to liberate Poland. It doesn't sound like the best place to ever liberate people, but this is going to be interesting. Let's see, you guys have 280, so you guys are basically as strong as the Russians. Germany, you guys basically have to deal with you guys and you guys, but the Austrians shouldn't be too hard to fight. The Austrians, if you quickly blitz and cleave the Austrians, you'll just have two fronts to deal with, and that should be enough to just fight off. Hopefully, that'll be all we need. I don't know, this is going to be a really intense war. Um, I guess for my help, for my part, I will try to defeat the uh, outpost over here of the uh, Ger of the French, not the Germans. The French, because the Germans are actually on my side. And yeah, everyone, this is going to be our first great war. Are you excited? Is everyone excited for the first great war that we're going to be fighting? Yeah, because it seems like Austria is definitely not going to back down because they feel like they have enough power and we feel like we have enough power. Mostly because of me, but yeah. And something's going on with the British. The British are going to become fascist? Oh my, this is... This is an interesting term of development. What the heck did you guys do to... Okay, here it comes. Okay, everyone, it is the Second Great War! In place of technically where the First Great War would be in our timeline. So everyone, it is the size of the Germans, the Platians, and the Scandinavians. On the other side, we have the Austrians, the Soviet Union, and the French. Yes, this is a very, very interesting cold world war, and oh my goodness, what the hell is happening to your country, Yugoslavia? Oh my goodness, okay. Guys, guys, go dock up. Go dock up. 
Go dock up quickly. We have to go save our we have to go save our vassal. Go. Go! Wait. Why do I not? Military access. They would not accept. Oh. You jerks. You flat out jerks. Oh my goodness. Okay, um. Hey Romania, you guys gonna be a nicer vassal? Yes, you guys are. You guys are a way nicer vassal than the Roman than the Yugoslavians. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go dock up over there because they're actually nice people. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Scandinavia has a decent sized army to go siege up all that. Um We have to mainly worry about a mainly a French Congo attack from over here. There might be a French attack over here too. Not really sure. They might attack me. They might. Can I call them my allies? No, I can't because I'm not the war leader, am I? Yep, I'm not the war leader. So, what do we want out of this war? We kind of want... The thing we kind of want out of this war is either to dismantle France's empire or dismantle the Soviet Union empire. One of those two would be acceptable, but we want to get something like that out of this. Uh, and the Philippines are like, this is kind of awkward for me because I like both you guys. <laughs> okay, and let's see. Le Platian... Let's see, is your tank factory still alive? Yes, it is, and it's still working. Good. Okay. Let's see, we need to build up more tanks. Just keep building up more tanks. Tanks are awesome. And let's see, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. In terms of opening moves, the Germans are not attacking who I think they would attack first. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, Scandinavians, I don't know how much of help they're going to be. You know what we could do, actually, is since we already have an army over here, we could try to open up a new front down here. Um, well, actually, let's dock up first, because we really have to dock up, because these guys will all die if we don't dock up. Also, I just realized, we're out in the middle of nowhere with, like, 23 men, and I just declared war. Yes! Democracy! Yes! Democracy, everyone! Democracy is the best! Yes! And, but the good thing about the Germans is that they do have a special advantage of the fact that they do get special troops. Don't know how they do this, I've never figured this out, but they have like these special troops that basically destroy everyone. So that's a good thing about the Germans. Alright, let's see, any of my land being hostilely attacked right now, which I have to actually pay attention to, no. Everyone's basically being very peaceful to me right now. Which is good, because I, if my land doesn't get damaged during the Second Great War, that'll be very good news for me. But still, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Germans are worrying me right now. Germans are definitely worrying me, because if we, we're going to have to win this, because if we lose this, we're going to have major difficulties, so, let's see, um, Soviets are attacking, hopefully, we have to, ah, damn it, damn it, the French are just, are just destroying whatever, man, I'm going to, French are destroying whatever they have to, um, actually, the Germans are going directly after the war goal, which is a good idea, um, Let's see. Let's try to move through this land and see what we could do to try to curve a little bit of this already seeming like bad battles already. Um, you guys, yeah, it seems like the Scandinavian army, the 65 troops in the one Scandinavian province can deal with them. We're going to go see if these guys can make it all the way back again. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. Uh, let's see. Have an army right there, the French are going to try to be all like, hoop a dip a hoop a dip I'm gonna try to go take on, on the, uh, us, and we're gonna be like, <laughs> come over here, France, we definitely want you. Okay, alright, um, but we're losing way too many of these battles to really consider ourselves winning. Germany isn't acting smart when it's using its troops. Which is really stupid because right now we really do need them to act smart. Because if they die, we're basically dead. Okay? And I'm not submitting to these to the will of these guys. I would literally fight this even if the Germans lost. Which sounds really stupid, but I have an entire ocean between me and them, so I could probably survive this even without the Germans' help. Okay. Let's see. I'm moving my troops in to try to go help. Man, if I could call my allies, I could call in Romania, and that could provide a different front right there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, but I can't. We're just going to have to deal with what we have. Mm. This might have been a mistake, people. <laughs> uh, Jimmy's getting chewed up right now. Pretty dumb, pretty badly getting chewed up. And I'm going to pay war reparations here very, very soon. 
Okay. What we can do is basically just start squishing just little tiny armies. And hopefully we can start like pushing back some of these guys. I don't think we're going to be making big differences. Although we do have tanks. We do have tanks. That's the one good thing I can say we do have. Yeah. Get out of my room. Yeah. Get out of here. Alright. I'm going to start. What I'm basically going to start doing is I'm going to start helping the Germans over here with my army. Helping them with my massive amount of tank units to go help and destroy these people. Over here we already got our tank units and everything already. Well actually these aren't tank units yet. But they're ready to go when I need them. Got no French armies over here to fight. Okay. Let's see. How do my troops compare to the Soviet Union troops? Because this will help us out determine it, how much we have to actually fight. Um, let's see. Is there any more armament stuff I can get? No. Group intervention. Government interventionism. That means we get more um, economy. Which means our literacy is almost crazily high. Let's see. Um... Yeah, it seems like even with the amount of time, even with the amount of tanks I have, oh wow, we just like, slaughtered them. Even with the amount of tanks, it seems like this is going to be a hard battle. Let's see, we have a big group of Frenchies right there. Um, Austrians are mainly grouping up right here. Let's see, it seems like we can generally deal with this over here. Um, the Scandinavians are taking a long time to mobilize. Go figure. Let's see, have my ships made it? Wow, they actually made it out for it. Sweet! <laughs> oh, I, I, sweet, no seriously, I'm not even joking about that. Sweet. What we could probably do is have those troops go help fight in the Scandinavian-African War and see if we can defeat some of the Frenchies over there, maybe draw some of their forces away. Um, but basically with this one army, what I'm going to have to do is just basically break a lot of the lines of the uh, Russians and basically help out the Germans as much as I can. Um, let's see. Because this is, this is actually pretty crucial battles here. And the other thing we have to make sure we do is make sure we don't make sure the French start um, conquering the right amounts of land. Because they can, they can take as much as they want from other pieces of land, but they can't take the right amount of land. Let's see. Um, damn, that's such a lot of amount of Frenchies. Okay. Um, hey, could you guys go and... Okay, I'm going to go join this battle over here because we need to make sure they don't take over Pomerania. That's our main. That's my main concern right now. Is if they take over Pomerania, then the Germans will instantly give up. Which is exactly what we don't need. Okay, I'm going to have to go through this battle, then go through this battle, then go through that battle. Go. Because I'm going to have to make sure that we don't lose this. And by the way, if, if I sound completely different than what I usually do, this is because I'm kind of in like serious, like I'm actually trying to think about how to win this. So I might not be as entertaining as I usually am, but I'm going to be trying to be. Let's see, yeah, there's such a big amount of troops over there. Damn, they really crushed us really hard right over there. Um, let's see, my troops are moving down. Let's see, the the Scandinavians basically crushed all of the uh, Frenchies. They're about to crush the rest of the French over here, which is going to be nice. Then, let's see, who's winning technically? Oh, it's a good thing no one's winning. Good. Okay, good. No one's winning right now, which is a good thing. Okay, somebody was winning right now, we'd have a terrible time. But as long as we keep in this kind of status quo, you know, no one's winning kind of area, we might be able to pull out something amazing. Rebellion! Uh, you know what? I'll gain a cut down the sphere, cut down the size thing later. Divided we stand. Gain puppet. Wow. I just gained like six different events like in the past couple days. Okay. But we're going to see if my troops will add any kind of difference to the, uh, to the attacking. By the way, how's these guys... Uh, troop deployment. Okay, good. Now, let's see. Pomerania. Pomerania is actually this region right here. I don't know why they're attacking this region specifically, but I just realized that's a really stupid idea. Um, the Russians are attacking really hard on that side. Let's see. We need more troops over here. <laughs> that's basically what we need. We need more troops over here, and I need to get more, like, alliances. Ooh, Germany, get your troops out of there. That is a terrible idea. We can we can hold them off like right about here. Get your troops, all these guys, out of this pocket. This pocket's about to close very, very quickly. They're not gonna we're not gonna be able to hold that for very long. Um over here we finally engaged some troops. Let's see, do they have any type that's uh, just transports too. It's transports versus transports. Let's see whose transports are better. Probably theirs. So you know what? I'm going to just get out of here because I realize I don't want to lose my transports. And let's see. Back over here, we have a 26 versus 104. Hey, Germany, where are you? 
You kind of left me here. Ah. Uh, and they're sending in even more. Goodness gracious. You good at defending, you're good at defending, though. That's the one good thing about this. Well, <coughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.